hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna make a christmas fruit cake so i'm just gonna show you step by step how to make a nice moist black cake so first we're gonna start with the eggs so we're gonna use nine eggs so these are like medium eggs so we use nine so we have to do them one by one we have to remove the eye all right because the eye will make it a little raw even though we're gonna use lime juice so i'm gonna speed up this process and then i will come back when i'm finished with this so now that we're finished with our eggs and remove all the eyes from the eggs that's good we're going to use some lime juice you can use lemon zest or lime zest i don't have any lemon or lime at the moment so we're going to use one teaspoon of lime juice lime juice is good as well and then we're just going to use our fork to just mix everything out So now that our egg mix nice and fluffy, we're going to put it aside. And I have my mixer here, guys. All right, so now we're going to add our butter and our sugar. So here I have my butter. So I'm, I'm going to leave all the ingredients on the screen as I go along. And here I have some brown sugar. I'm gonna add that in. And we want this to be very fluffy and light, all right? Okay, so let's add our eggs. So we're not gonna have this all at once, we're just gonna have it little by little. It's a bit more and then add that in the last batch. All right, nice and fluffy. Love that. We're going to add the rest. Beautiful, love this. This is what we're looking for. Amazing. So now we have our fruits. So if you didn't watch that video, go ahead and watch it. How I showed you how to soak your fruits for a very nice moist cake. So now we're gonna add it in. Okay guys, now I'm gonna have my browning in. I'm gonna 
gonna give that another mix, like a quick mix. Okay, so this is perfect. Now I'm gonna remove this from this container. I'm gonna place it in another container. So I'm gonna do that and be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you. This is a little trick, I should say. Um, what I did last year to the cake, I did go ahead and I pour a little fruits in it, like this. Just a little bit like that. It was so good. I did it for Thanksgiving. I make a lot of cake for Thanksgiving. Okay, so that's great. So now I'm gonna add some almond flavor to my mixture. Oops. It says tablespoon, guys, but I know how to measure my teaspoon in it. <laughs> and I have some rose water, I'm gonna add that. And I have some vanilla. I'm gonna also add that as well. Then we're just gonna combine everything in. So let's put this aside and do our dry ingredients. So I already sieved my flour. So here I have some cinnamon mixed by salt and some nutmeg. All right, I'm just gonna add that in. And here I have some baking powder. We're gonna add that in. And we're gonna combine everything together. All right, so this is all done. We're just gonna move that. Then we're gonna bring back our nice mixture. It tastes so good, guys, it's so good. So now we're gonna cut and fold our flour into our mixture. So we're just gonna add just a little bit at each time. Right, that's enough. And we're just gonna cut and fold. So you have your spoon here you just bring it in so that's what you're gonna do one two cut and fold take your time till it mix properly out and this is best to do with a wooden spoon guys Okay guys, so my butter nicely mixed. I did the rest off camera because it's a lot of work to move in your hand. Sometimes your hand get tired of the rest and stuff like that. Not me here watching YouTube and baking. <laughs> Let me remove that. So I'm just gonna put this aside and I'm just gonna do my baking um, tins. I normally put my baking tin in the oven for it to warm a little bit and then I'm gonna butter that. So I'm gonna show you now. So, for the, so now we're gonna bake our cake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour, okay? So I already preheated my oven a long time ago. So now I'm just gonna pour the butter in. Look at this goodness. Woo! Yummy. Oh, and it tastes so good. Oh, I can't wait. So this is good enough. So 
So I'm just going to put this aside and I'm going to do this one now. All right, guys, so now we're going to put them into the oven. Like it tastes so good. It's yummy. So I get one and a small um, baking tin of cake. This looks so good. So now we're going to put them into the oven. So I'm just going to set that aside. Oh, for the reason for me to stamp it like this is to make sure no ear is on at the bottom of the cake. So you need to do this. All right. Okay, guys, so now that our cake is out, so we're going to use a knife to see if it's properly baked. So we just put our knife down into the cake like this. So it's still a little wet. We have to pop it back in the oven for another five minutes. All right, guys, so it's finished. I did have to pop it back in for another 10 minutes. So it took one hour and 10 minutes because it didn't finish bake properly so i had to get 10 more extra minutes so now we're just gonna check to see if it bake so you get a knife and just put it in like that and it needs to come up nice and clean eh? so we finish so while it's hot we need to pour like rum and uh, what's it called again red label, red label wine <laughs> over it so the more rum and red label wine you pour on it the more moist the cake will be all right so the more liquid the more moist the spray not working out so i'm just going to pour it over it yeah so i need to get everywhere on the cake beautiful hi guys so this is the next day after the cake is baked so this is the cake. See how nice and moist it is. It's very moist. It tastes so good. Like the other one. Because remember I did two. The other one is finished. Like guys, I was about to edit and the old footage got deleted. Like, I don't know. Things happen. So I'm just showing you the cake. This is it. Very nice, moist and soft. I have some pictures that I took with it, so I'm just gonna insert those and show you guys. So here it is, guys, it's all finished. I'm gonna have a test run for the cake right now. So be a take a piece of the cake and taste it. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. tell me where you're tasting then or it tastes. Mmm, this tastes good. It tastes the cinnamon, the spices, the fruits, um, rum. Yeah, rum in it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, the fruits come out. I like it and it's moist, very moist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes good. Alright, so from 1 to 10, what would you grade it? Um, Extra noise, you know that room, not too much. Um, I'll give it a 9.8. A 9.8? Yeah. I love that. You couldn't give me 10? No, I work at the. Oh, wow. I'm having this opinion. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, there you go, guys. It's really good. I love it. Everybody that tasted it, so good. So I'm going to go now, guys, because everybody calling my phone to bring the rest of the cake home. Yeah, you have more? Yeah, you yeah, make, uh, just this this one and yeah, like sure. yeah, we'll make more. yeah we're gonna make more for like Christmas or Thanksgiving. Okay. Like our fight gone. Like this we we'll maybe gonna have one slice left when I share it up because everybody waiting. So guys I'm gonna go now. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment and like. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video.